it. Today what you're learning about is how to round mixed numbers. Now, first of all, what is a mixed number? Yes. Something that's not a fraction. It's a number. Okay, okay a, sort a of. A number with a fraction. A number? What kind of number? Yes? A um, number that's mixed with a fraction. Yes. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, I'm looking for yes. It's a whole number. Whole with a fraction. number mixed with a fraction. So it's not just a whole number, not just a fraction. It's mixed, whole and fraction, right? Yeah. Okay. So let me just write down one just for y'all to look at. Okay. Seven and three fourths. Okay. Now, the first thing I want you to think about is between which two whole numbers is this? Seven and six. Seven and eight. What do you think? Seven and eight? Six and eight. Seven Which and two numbers? Seven and eight. Which two consecutive numbers? One, two, two, three, What's three, the four. Again? Which seven two whole eight. numbers is, the fraction in is this in between? Eight. Seven and eight. eight. Seven and eight. Does everybody see that? It's not going to have a whole number and a less. <laughs> okay. It's more than seven because it's seven and something, but it hadn't reached eight yet, right? So everybody see how it's in yeah. between 7 and 8? Okay, so we said 7 and 8, right? Those are the two numbers. So if I have 7 and I have 8, this number would be somewhere in between, right? Mm -hmm. Does everybody understand that? It's because like one-fourth away. Because it's 7 eight. and a little bit more. It's three-fourths away. It is three-fourths away. Okay, so what I want to ask you is how many ticks is this one going to have? Four. Four. Okay, so watch this. This is my, whoops, let's put a seven up here and an eight right here. Okay, so now I'm going to have one, two, three. So does that give me four? One, two, three, four. Yes. And where would seven and three fourths be? <gasps> Can I throw? On which one? Um, would it be on the last one? One, two, two. Three. Very good. Does everybody see that seven and three fourths would be in this spot right here? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yep. Like one. Yeah, and that cool. From the eight. Okay. So when they're asking us to round this to the nearest whole number, oh. would I round it this way or would I round it? Is it closer to eight? That eight. Way. Yes. Very good. So we're gonna take mixed numbers and decide: is it closer to eight or is it closer to seven? And as you can see, we are really close to eight. It'd be really far to go back to seven. Does everybody see that? So seven and three fourths would round to eight. Yes. I have a question. Okay. When, when you're like doing that, um, mm -hmm. when it's in the middle, it's a half, right? Yes. What would be the before that? Like what numbers would be before okay. that? That's this half. would be one fourth. So one fourth. Two fourth. Three fourth. Okay. Four fourths. And two fourths then reduces to half, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Everybody understand? Okay. Okay. Everybody gets it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay. First question you have to ask yourself is, what two numbers <laughs> is six and two fifths? Which two whole numbers? Yes. Six What's it between? And seven. Six and seven. So watch this. I'm going to put a six and a seven. This time. How many pieces is it broken up into? Five. Five. Okay, so I'm going to draw one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. And we are on two fifths, <gasps> so it's six and one fifth, six and two fifths. Two fifths. It'd be closer to six. Yes. Does everybody see that? That this rounded, we're trying to figure out is it closer to six or closer to seven? Six. Obviously, it's closer to six. It's Everybody pretty easy. That? It's pretty easy, huh? Okay. But how do you do it? Like, um, so could you use like number strategy? Like, if it was like six and four fifths, it would be higher. Like the you top could number just think of it and go, oh, I know that that's higher. Yeah. Or like, you can it's know a bit that. Easier than drawing it. Yeah. Out. Uh huh. But if you're unsure, I would definitely draw it to make yeah. sure. Okay, let's do one more, and this one is a different kind of problem. They draw a rectangle. And they give us some measurements, eight and seven eighths, and five and one fourth. <gasps> These are a little bit easier to actually see. Okay, just a minute. They're wanting us to round it, and then they want us to find the area. So here's what they say. 
Estimate the area of this rectangle Ooh. by rounding the length and the width to the nearest inch before multiplying. So right now it's 8 and 7 eighths inch and 5 and 1 fourth inch. Okay, the 8 and 7 eighths, does everybody agree? Let's see what, what's it going to become? Oh, uh, 40. No, no, oh, what's this going to become? Nine. 9. Does everybody see that this yeah. 8 and 7 mm -hmm. eighths would become 9 if we rounded it? So everybody got that or do I need to draw it out? I don't Raise it. your hand if you need me to draw it out. Okay, so this would become nine. All right, and then five and one fourth become four. No, six. One fourth. Oh, it would become five, four. Right? No, five. Become five. It would become five. Oh, because okay. five and one fourth is in between five and six, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Everybody gets that? So you multiply that. So this would be one, two, three. One fourth would be right here. Oh. So you multiply that and you get. So this one would be five inches, right? Okay. So if we found the area, it would be nine times five, which is forty-five. Forty-five. But do we put minus off the inches squared? What? Oh, anyway. those are easy. Yeah, pretty easy. That's lesson one hundred and one, guys. Yeah.